Good afternoon everyone. Today we're looking at the VZ52 auto loading carbine and it is from Czechoslovakia back in the day. The gun is unloaded. Magazine release lever under here and it has the rocker type loading similar to an AK. When I originally got the gun it had a coating that was similar to bed liner and it was all over the wood so using a heat gun and paint stripper I was able to get that off and get it down to the wood the wood had quite a few pits and cracks in it which had to fill those in and it's been sitting in storage for a long time the gun fires a 762 by 45 millimeter cartridge, which for me has been incredibly difficult to find. Some of these were upgraded, I think they were called the VZ52 slash 57, and they could take the standard 762 by 39. The Czechs just used that different cartridge at first. It has a side folding bayonet, the release lever over on the left hand side. not real sharp. There's a muzzle nut attachment on the end. Piston mechanism is in here. I would love to take this out and shoot it sometime, but until I can find some ammunition or actually cut down some cases that would work in this one, it's probably just going to be a safe queen. We'll take a closer look at this and uh, hopefully this is an, a rifle carbine that you find interesting. So we'll start with the butt. It still has the plastic butt plate. That's what came with it. The originals have steel butt plate from what I understand. Loading, similar to an SKS. Just release that and let it go. Magazine, 10 round box. And then it has the hold open on that last round fired. Magazine drops fairly easily. Serialized on the stock and then the sling mount is kind of integral to the stock. The other mount up at the top. The bayonet release is there. Allows that to swing out and open. This is a bit of shielding here. Made a, it's a thin sheet metal aluminum type material. And of course in here is all the piston mechanism. And one of the things about it is uh, takedown is fairly simple. In the back, there's a couple of pins. Depress those, front cover up and off. Getting it back together is a bit of a hassle. There's a lot of spring action going on in this thing. Muzzle nut on the end. I am not positive at what other muzzle attachments would fit on these. Safety, so, or safety lever is here. That is safe. Push forward, which is actually fairly convenient. Just push with that Four finger, fire. Let's see what the reset is like on this. It's not resetting on me. So, when I'm manually cocking this gun, the trigger is back. Interesting. Never noticed that before, but like I said, haven't shot it. If anyone has a source for 762 by 45 or even a way to convert one of these 
safely to fire 762 by 39 I would love to hear from you in the comments. I'd like to get this one up and running if just for a little bit. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you like what we're doing. If you would, consider giving us a subscribe.